Hi folks, this is Garrett with another episode of Produce Your Freedom. Today I want to show you something that went wrong with my cider making. It is really easy, but um, you know, we all are human can make mistakes. So I've got some scuzzy stuff growing on the inside of that surgical tubing on my racking cane. And unfortunately, I kind of need that soon to um, siphon some of that off into a fresh jug because it's slowed down a bit for you know, racking it to the second vessel, another gallon jug like that. Um, give you a quick little shot of my kitchen here. Um, that's the pot I'll be using to hopefully um, just boil some water up, rack it straight from the pot, siphon it down into the sink, and hopefully clean up a good, good bit of this mess. And there's the batch of cider that's going right now. So big whoopsie. Um, learn from me so you don't have to go through this. And I know I preach keeping things clean as I go, but uh, we had this move and stuff, so I must have used it, you know, run a little bit of water through it and, uh, and not really done a good job cleaning it. I'll let you know if this method of cleaning it works out um, rather than, you know, running any sort of soap or chemicals through it that I would then have to spend some heavy amounts of time rinsing. All right, I'll be back in a jiffy and hopefully this works. All right, I'm back. I actually haven't yet done the boiling step, but I tried something else that got me most of the way there. Um, hopefully you can kind of see. Um, I don't really, couldn't find many of the major spots that were on the tubing itself. They kind of rinsed right out for the most part. Um, but all I did was I laid this down as low as I could in my sink. The cane kind of kept it from laying all the way flat which is fine. I know the sink's not perfectly clean at the moment. I just ran the hot water as hot as I could get it and I took the end of the tube, put it under the faucet nice and low and let it force all the way through the siphon, um, I mean all the way through the racking cane, sorry, and kind of used the pressure coming out of the faucet to keep that going for a little while. Then there was a piece inside the racking cane in the outer portion down here that um, was still looking a little grungy, but actually I just ran the plunger um, from the racking cane. It seemed to kind of break that stuff up just from getting it wet a little bit. Um, so as long as I can't see it and I run some some boiling hot water through it, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not going to be that anal about sanitizing beyond that. Um, so just a little tip if that happens to you. Um, depends how hot your water gets, I suppose. But this, this worked like a charm. It just ran right through and... Uh, Kind of proves my point that, you know, really, really hot water um, kills funguses and yeasts pretty quickly. Um, it at least broke them up and, and probably killed the spores of it, but the boiling water next will definitely do that trick. All right, I'll check back with you in a minute. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Good news, guys. This whole thing worked. Um, just for reference, I used about four quarts of water in that pot. There's a little bit left in the bottom that I couldn't really get out with the racking cane, but that's okay. Um, one thing to note, if you're going to do something like this, be very, very, very careful that you're not touching a, a part of the racking cane or the hose where you'll get burns just from the heat or uncomfortable from it to the point of being close to burning because um, you have to hold on to it the whole time. So I did let it come back down from a rolling boil uh, I was probably still around a couple hundred degrees. I was okay because I was grabbing the outside of the racking cane. And then I had the, the end of the hose here um, just kind of draped over the faucet in a way that kind of held it there um, into the sink. So that kind of worked out where I wasn't really touching the actual um, tube. The hot water was flowing through. I was kind of touching the outer, outer tube of the racking cane. After that, uh, when I do stuff like that, I usually try to leave both ends hanging in a way where it's going to dry somehow. So I just used a paper towel and the cabinet. It's just going up and over the top of our cabinet. And then that is just kind of running down inside the door to keep it all standing upright. Um, so any excess will drip onto there. And in a few minutes, you can kind of still see the condensation or the, the steam in there. So in a few minutes, I'll, I'll just pack that up and that'll be good enough as is. Just want the bulk of it to drip out. So quick and easy solution to the problem. Just be careful you don't get it so hot. Uh, don't deform the surgical tubing and don't burn the bottom of your rack and cane or anything on the pot itself. Um, you know, definitely kill the heat. Maybe you've moved the pot to another burner, take the top off and let it come down from a rolling boil. If not, 
more so, whatever you think is safe. Um, I cleaned my thermometer at the same time, and that's how I knew it was uh, still about um, probably over a couple hundred degrees. It was, it was 210 when I cleaned the thermometer just by swirling it around in there, and then I got a couple things ready, and then I did the siphon, so still very confident that I was well over the you know, the 185 type point of killing biological life, no problem. All right, glad that worked. I'll uh, also be letting it cool down just so I can siphon off the cider without actually killing any yeast that is in there. I don't want the tube tubing itself and all that to be anything really other than pretty much uh, room temperature. So once I get to that point, I'll run it through. And this time, I'll remember to run hot water through my rack and cane immediately. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, take care, remember produce your freedom or life will produce your chains. I'm out.